make this a, even a more special Thank occasion you. than it possibly could. Without you, it would just be them standing here with the preacher, and yes. that'd just be good boring. Good people, good friends. Yes. Yes. Most good notably, family. the same. I'd like to thank Paul and Ginger Vanderheiden and uh, Rob and Marty Backus for putting on such a beautiful wedding. Awesome. What an awesome, awesome reception hall this is, and uh, the open bar is also awesome. Yeah. The second line, so much fun. Yeah. I, I mean, I'll be in the first line, I think, at some point. Third line, probably not. So second line, I'll settle for that for right now. All right, for anyone who doesn't know me, my name is Joel. Hey, Joel! I've, 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 been, I've been playing the role of uh, best man this weekend. Jamie's been helping me a lot because he's, you, he's the neighbor. I love you all. Very essential to the whole wedding process. Well, I met Vandy about 13 years ago. We were random roommates at the University of Florida. Go Gators! Go Gators! All right, when we first met, one of the first conversations we had, Vandy mentioned that he just moved from New Jersey and he was going to be joining a fraternity. And amazingly, we got along despite all that. <laughs> when, when Vandy asked me to be his best man, I was honored. And uh, naturally, I assumed you must have just flipped open your phone, your contact list, and just been like alphabetical order. That was Adam St. Joel. <laughs> Call this guy up, see what happens. But after a while of thinking about it, I actually think you might have started from the back of your alphabetical order and asked all your other groomsmen, but they were all smart enough to realize that at this point they would have to be able to speak. <laughs> You're doing just fine. So they all said no. Well, I know. I plan on having to be able to speak. So. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I, either way, I'd like to thank you, Vandy, and thank you, Jess, for confirming that something I've thought for a long time that I am, in fact, the best man. Yeah. I've always thought I was better, but I'm best now. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, the main duties of the best man are, number one, to get the groom to the wedding on time and sober. One out of two, one out of two is not bad. I'm not saying if we were late or if he was not sober, well, one out of two is not bad. If we were playing baseball, I'd have a great batting average. And the second duty, of course, is giving the speech. So naturally, I uh, turned to the internet to find some ideas, and after searching for a couple hours, I found some really great stuff. But then I realized I wasn't doing a speech on cute animals or the uh, adult film industry, so I decided to start writing a speech instead of just looking at the internet. I never thought you'd be foolish enough to give me a microphone. <laughs> Especially in a room full of your most beloved people in the world Hooray! that you hold dear to you. So uh, in commemoration of that, I actually prepared a list of every scandalous activity we have ever taken part in together. <laughs> but un un unfortunately, just that uh, I can't talk about partying, gambling, nudity, violence, alcohol, or pretty much anything that's what fun. So, yeah. that, so that, that speech went out the window a couple weeks ago. Can I see that list? <laughs> it's, in the, it's in the car, actually. I, I, I'll bring it back. Later. It rolls out about 15 feet, which I forgot the prop. But. It was far too long. Uh, in the years I've known Vandy, we've, uh, we've worked together, we've lived together, we've partied together, and we've played more than our fair share of poker together. And in all that time, uh, honestly, I can say I've never seen him as happy as when he's with Jessica. And now, I, I didn't know Jessica very well before she was with Vandy, so I'll go ahead and assume that she's also as happy as she's ever been. <laughs> because I'm, I'm, I'm the best man, I can assume such things. It's part of my job. I did spend a lot of time worrying about this speech, because I do not like spin, speaking in front of people, which is why I'm kind of hiding behind the pillar here, but... I'm kind of tired of looking all uh, visualizing everyone out here in their underwear, so I'll wrap this up and get, let us get back to celebrating. Uh, Vandy and Jess, <laughs> individually, individually, you guys are both awesome. Together, you're amazing. Yeah! I'd like to ask everyone to raise their glasses in honor of the new couple as they begin their lives together. I'll just end this with a little something, a little quote from someone smarter than I am. 
Uh, the key to a successful marriage is to fall in love many times, always with the same person, and to always remember to the world you may be one person, but to one person you may be the world. Oh. 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 Cheers, guys.